look at that. Gotta wall this up. Serious food gathering. Yeah. There you go. That's a villager kill right there. Look at these Tonzos playing in work. I've got a good feeling we can survive this. Yeah, what we've got going on is great. We're getting into the rice fields here. We really want in. What a great idea. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Sorry it's been so long. I mean, I'm finally back from my honeymoon. Had a great time. And we're back uh, playing some more Age of Empires here. Uh, you might notice the camera being a little different. We've switched over to the panoramic uh, camera view here. I figured it might be nice for when you spectate to get kind of more of a zoomed out view. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm used to playing in the classic kind of zoomed in view. It feels a lot tighter. Um, but yeah, maybe this is a little easier for watching. It's a 3v3. We are doing the first of five placement matches for the ranked season. Nothing too crazy with my Civ choice here. We're not really going to see much of the uh, new content that's in this new season here in this Ottoman gameplay. But we might see some new stuff coming from the Rus ally that I have uh, by the name of Lemon Fridge. And we've also got our English ally, Cornux, who uh, the English, they have also received some updates. You'll see some very cool new stuff coming from them. Uh-oh, ran out of food here. You don't have any sheep here, Cornux. You got to get these villagers to work. Hoo boy. Okay, there we go. Scouting this side of the map. Oh, wow. Cornux did really well gathering up sheep. I'm trying to do the same. Looks like I've already brought back a good amount. Cleared kind of this back area. I think we're bringing in a lot of sheep. And with the uh, Anatolian Hills as our first prestige, or our first vizier point, that's going to be a lot of sheep. So we're going to be safe from any major aggression. Additionally, we're getting uh, the twin minaret madrasa so we can gather from these berries relatively safely. Worst case, we can gather from the berries that are actually on the madrasa. We've got plenty of food solutions. Additionally, we could look to dock over here. That's my game plan. If I can, I can try to put a dock down, get fishing ships. It's a good thing to do if you have an excess of wood all of a sudden. Can be a little hard to do on this map, Mongolian Heights, but could be worth a try. Okay, we've almost all aged up. We're just waiting on our ally, Cornux, who kind of had an awkward moment with his sheep there, but it looks like he's aging up with a forward Abbey of Kings, which can now create uh, kings. So English kings are somewhat expensive unit you can make in the feudal age. You only get one of them. It's this cavalry unit that uh, heals units around it, including itself. It's a pretty nasty unit, not going to lie. Spotting some longbowmen here. I'm pinging this to my allies. I'm saying, hey, 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 English are on the move. Move your scouts if you can. Watch out. Yep, nice. He makes it out. That's what we like to see. And it's good that we keep eyes on it. Clever of the English opponent, uh, Tom474747, to tuck his units here. Let's see if he gets any support from the Malian player, Flexman2040, or if he'll get any support from their uh, the French opponent by the name of... Uh, Renner's, oh, Renan RS. We've got eyes on this uh, group of units, and we're pretty much just dancing around. I've put some spearmen on patrol routes just in case anyone decides to put docks down, but the only thing that's happening at this river is Cornux, my ally, is walling it up with palisades, and these units made it across. Everywhere else we've been patrolling, haven't really seen anything. Unfortunate my ally goes down there. And honestly, I'm surprised my Roos ally hasn't gone for these deer here with his scouts. He should really be shooting them down. We're going back and forth, trying to decide how to engage with these units. But it looks like, nice, my allies are kind of combining forces here. An early knight, two archers, some early man-at-arms combining with all of my archers and Spahi and spearmen. This is looking really good. These two spearmen can get, yep, knocked out. We can deal with the early man-at-arms with all of our archers. Oh, wow, even the town center's getting a piece here. 
Looking really good, cleaning that up easily. I'm looking at my current resources and suddenly I'm at 740 wood. I've got way too much wood. Our solution is gonna be mining camp to gather stone and we'll also put a dock down. Yep, we can spend our excess wood that way. My scout on the back end ends up spotting the English opponent, uh, Tom474747, gain down a second town center. So this early aggression was really just to buy him time to get a town center down. So I'm saying, I'm pinging my ass and saying, let's get aggressive. We should really be, be pushing out on the map. But this is all we've got. It's pretty much these uh, troops of mine. Thank God the scouts here with them. That's giving us good vision. We're moving together as a team. We're looking for villagers. I like that we're all moving together. This is really good. We might be able to find uh, something if we're lucky. And boom, looks like some Malian villagers over here. Looks like my Roos ally going straight for them. We can actually walk past a little bit, but no, let's just get in there and kill them. We're seeing some sofas coming from the right. But man, that's like five villager kills right there. Oh, maybe six. Now that these sofa are coming, we're not too scared. We could fight them. And it looks like that's what we're going to do. They only have two ranged armor, so they can be pretty good to attack with archers. But yeah, this engagement is going okay. Cleaning up pretty well. I'm wondering where else we can strike, where else we can find villagers. We're also seeing some uh, French traders, but I think he's trading with this neutral market, so they're having to go the long way around, probably all the way over here to march across this river. Coming forward, looking for units. We're finding Longbowmen, no surprise there. We're gonna need our Spahi to be strong for us here. And this is the Malian Town Center. We gotta be careful about that. It's kind of awkward moving around here. We can't really find any wins. Hoping my allies can spot something. They might go after this trader with these horsemen. Probably a good idea. Yeah, I'd love to see him, yeah, take out that trader. It's a good move. And then attack this gold vein. That'd be a great idea taking out that uh, pit mine. I'm just kind of circling the English base, trying to see if we can't poke and prod, but uh, we're not having any luck. Let's see if my allies do better over here. Just a little, little fighting going on over here, but this would be a big win, just knocking all this down, especially that pit mine. It's a big building. Oh, and look at this, villagers right here. Yeah, 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 get those, get those man-at-arms on top of those villagers. Looking good. Who cares if the French knights are there? Just keep slashing away at those villagers. Looking good. Here comes some sofas. Really not that scary. Yeah, he should stay aggressive here. Me, I'm just kind of... I'm looking for a good angle of attack, but I just know if I come close, those town centers are going to uh, tear me apart. If those French knights show up here, that could be really bad for my ally. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, he should commit to taking out the pit mine. Take the pit mine out. You cannot fight these knights. Ooh. I guess he's going to try. But yeah, I would much rather just see him commit to burning down the pit mine. I mean, it might it might just burn down on its own. We'll see. Looks like I'm getting some more vizier points. I can assure you I spent them on uh, Anatolian Hills first. And I think my second was uh, additional military schools because we're going to be putting down some more of those pretty pretty soon. I mean, we've got the stone for it for sure. And we have enough to age up. We haven't seen any of our opponents or allies age up just yet. I'm going to go with the um, Imperial... What is it? The Imperial Council? No, Im Imperial Palace. The Istanbul Imperial Palace. So this is going to generate uh, more Imperial Council experience whenever I produce units from buildings surrounding it. So we're going to put a bunch of military production right here on this screen. Looks like our attack is puttering out. We definitely took out that pit mine. That was a good win. But now I'm losing units to all of these sofas. The sofas have been really annoying, and I'm realizing that I need to get more spearmen out, and I also need to get more barracks out. Another solution to the sofa would be Janissaries. I'd love to see Janissaries coming out, but it looks like I'm thinking Spearmen for the time being. Archers are not bad. Archers behind Spearmen would be good, but I can tell that our opponents are thinking about that unit composition because I'm starting to see the English opponent, yeah, combining forces with the Malians. 
Let's take a look at uh, current resources. It looks like Tom474747 is gathering a ton of resources, but not spending them very well. My ally, the Roost player, uh, Lemon Fridge, tons of gold, not spending it. That's a bit of a problem. And now let's check income. Looks like our opponents, uh, Renan's maybe at 1k, Flexman's at maybe 2k, and uh, Tom is maybe at 2k. On our side, we've got Cornux coming in at maybe like, uh, that's maybe 1k, one in a bit. Lemon Fridge really behind. I'm not sure what's going on here. And then myself at maybe one and a half. I feel like we're losing the economic game here. That said, we are producing uh, fishing ships. And we are going to get extended lines and just start gathering up all this fish down here. It's feeling good. French opponent, Renan, is going to break through here and, and attack Cornux, who just aged up. Decided to put the white tower here. Not really sure about that. But we'll see. Oh, we're seeing lots of sofa clogging the center here. And we're dealing with some English opponent, or the uh, English opponent's infantry over here. We've got archers. They have ranged armor, and they're attacking faster thanks to the mater. But, yeah, these, these early man-at-arms are so tanky. And we really need, yep, our castle age units to get involved. Lemon Fridge reaches the castle age, so all of uh, me and all my allies have reached the castle age. It's looking really good. Oh, and now we got the Janissaries coming out. They'll do well versus the uh, man at arms and especially cavalry. We really want them fighting cavalry, so bring on the sofas. Longbowmen, we'd like to not fight. But yeah, if those sofas that were clogging the center here come this way, we'll be really happy. And they're actually heading north to try and break through here. But my ally Cornux is so good about stonewalling all of these gaps. Uh, we've already got one closed off, one half closed off, one partly closed off, and this one's closed off. That's going to secure trade routes for us. It's going to secure resources for us. Uh, couldn't quite get the gate up, and I'd love to have that gate. Love to start sending raiding forces that way. Looking at our production, yep, there's those additional barracks that we were looking for. And it looks like we're up to three military schools. We're starting to get some blacksmith upgrades, but I think we're a little behind on gold. Um, I'm doing great on gathering wood, but yeah, our gold is really suffering. More squabbling in the center. Love that this Janissary is taking shots at the sofas. It's doing incredibly well. I would love to have more Janissaries fighting these uh, sofas. I'm not sure if we've got any in the queue, but I'm sure I'm producing lots of spearmen. Yeah, there they are getting queued up. We did get our second town center down. We kind of got that towards the end of the second age. We found ourselves with tons of wood, so we, we decided to spend it. Here's a bunch of archers and French royal knights duking it out with the English. These are Castle Age man-at-arms, very tanky. They'll do well against the archers and the villagers. The French royal knights, those are going to be a bit more of a liability. Those can actually do enough damage to punch through the high armor. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to see my English ally putting on some, some aggression here because I do eventually want to trade at this trade post. You can see I've got two markets already uh, in production. We're kind of gathering up. It seems like each half of the map has kind of firmly become uh, controlled by each team. We are seeing some forward advancement from the French over here, and we'll probably see some forward advancement in this dark area here. I'd love to see some uh, outposts go down from my English ally or from myself. Yeah, I'd love to get some, uh, some towers out here. Because every time we charge in here, we're not sure what the unit composition is. We just kind of think about whatever we fought last time and it was a bunch of sofas look at these spearmen turn on the sofas look at how fast the sofas go down like we have to retreat now that it's just man arms but look at all of the dead spahi wow it's a good turn right there down here yep the markets just won't go up english ally gathering relics that's good but we need some uh, military forces because we're actually getting pushed through the center here. This is the combined forces of the Malians and the uh, the English. But we've taken out the 
We've taken out the sofas and now it's just English infantry and they're unupgraded. Only a few crossbowmen here. Veteran longbowmen are looking good. It's just regular hardened spearmen. Now I'm not too scared of this force. We would love to get a mangonel or maybe a lot of uh, spahi. Spahi would be great. Or knights, yep, those would be great too. Love to get a palisade gate up front. It's hard to get these units onto the battlefield with this being our only gate. But I do like that we put this palisade up. His units have ran right into it, and now they're just not advancing. They're not finding villagers. And look at all these horse archers from my Rus ally. Cleaning this up. Looking great. Yeah, horse archers versus crossbowmen. That's the way to go. Ugh, lose my mom there. And we're pushing forward. I like seeing that. I would love to see my English ally do the same. Take out these, these outposts and secure this lower part of the map. We've actually built a grand galley from our dock. And it's just gunning down these sofas with its like rapid fire cannons. Just watch it. Oof. It'll just get patched up by the dock. And we can gun down these walls, any villagers, and these sofas. They're just getting sacrificed to this grand galley. I love it. We're grabbing up resources on our side of the map. We're getting this gold. We're getting this uh, wood over here. We've also occasionally got our imams coming out. We're going to try a, a wololo here. But Malian player notices we do get one javelin thrower. But that's about it. Yeah, now he's just going to target the imam down. We should probably engage. I think we would do well against these units. Yep, now we're coming forward. They looked scary at first, but then we saw them cutting this way towards the Grand Galley, and I was like, oh, I'd love to fight alongside this Grand Galley. Because this thing is just shredding those units. Yep, and here we go. Back here, a few knights have made it into the Roos base, but... He's cleaning them up. He's got all these horse archers, and they are so fast. Yeah, these are just the English knights, so they're not the French royal knights, but yeah, the horse archers are doing well. We'd love to see them get a few upgrades. Nice, a trebuchet. Makes sense that my English ally finally has some trebuchets, and he's going to start targeting down these outposts. Here comes the French opponent thinking he can take this, but it's a bad idea all these units are just getting completely murdered. Flexman, our Malian opponent, makes it to the Imperial Age. But, uh... Let's take a look at income here. As we try and get these forces taken care of here in the center. Flexman 2040 doing really well. Head of food, head of gold. Uh, probably making around 3.5k total resources. I don't know what's going on with Renan. He's still in the second age, and he's only got maybe one and a half K resources, which is nothing right now. Lemon Fridge is similarly very low, although he did just age up, so maybe his villagers are about to go back to work. Yeah, he's got a lot of units still just kind of moving around the map. And is this, wow, the English, uh, our English allies really gathering up these relics. And he's got... Uh, very good income as well. He's at almost, uh, yeah, that's like 3k there as well. Me, I'm doing really well myself. I'm at about 3k myself, but it, it's this Malian opponent who is really doing well. So many resources. That said, yeah, we're getting a foothold in the center. I think that's a good idea putting it there because the sacred site is right here. I'd love to secure this one. I love seeing this outpost going up from uh, Cornux. This is what I was talking about, some more vision, more outposts. And finally, this is all cleared away, so we're going to start making, yep, we're going to start making traders. It's kind of inefficient. We should have finished this market over here, done the trade trick, but we're going to start making them. And don't sleep on trade when you are the Ottomans, especially if you go the build that I went, where you get the Istanbul Imperial Palace. We've already gotten the upgrade that makes... Uh, your traders provide more gold. So we're just going to see more and more gold as this game goes on and we get our trade going. Yep. Cornux wants to wall this off. He wants to just finish it out. 
that'll make the only gaps here, which I'm going to close off with a castle, and then this center area, which is kind of awkwardly split. Oh, look at that. Berkshire Palace right here. Looks like that's uh, the Imperial Age for our English opponent. Finally, Renan reaches the Castle Age, but still just no economy to show for it. Would love to see Lemon Fridge also get an economy going here. And Cornux, yeah, already making traders. 252 coming from this trader. We'll have to see what ours ends up uh, providing, especially with our bonus. We're trying to find wins over here on the map. We're trying to sweep these resource locations. I mean, it's deer, gold, berry, stone. We figured there'd be something over here. Now we do find an old mining camp with our Spahi, but no villagers, I don't think. Over here, we run into the Fort of the Huntress. This is the Imperial Age landmark that the Malians went up with. And we're just seeing way too many forces here, Malians and English. We need to back up to our keep, and we need to try and get these outposts up and running. What units do we need? Probably Spearmen, Janissaries, and Spahi. But we're, it looks like we're probably just going to default to Spearmen, Man-at-Arms, just a mix of units, even two Rams in the queue. I like seeing Siege units come. I don't care what they are, as long as we've got some Siege units, I'm happy. Glad to see Spearmen interacting with, or uh, engaging with so many cavalry. The English Longbowmen that we thought would be the real issue here just aren't really showing up. Back here, looks like we've put on some harassment on this English base. Hey, if, as long as some uh, villagers are idling, we're happy. A lot of crossbowmen, elite crossbowmen coming from the English. And veteran sofa with good upgrades coming from the, uh, the Malians. Oh, we're going to lose our villagers here. We do have an outpost with a Springald emplacement. Oh, but I'm losing so many villagers here. I guess that's okay. We do have our two town centers, and we are producing them pretty rapidly. And I, I like this engagement, to be honest. All these units are getting hit with um, spring old attacks. Castle, uh, this keep is raining down a lot of arrow fire. And yeah, we're coming forward. Let's start targeting down these uh, javelin throwers. And of course, over here, my English ally is finally pushing forward and getting uh, the French opponent. Putting a stop to all this Malian trade is a great idea. Glad my English ally decided to sweep the corner first. But yeah, it's time to move on. Let's take on this French opponent who really has just been lagging this whole game. Uh, still only about 1k resources coming in. Lemon Fridge is at least up to like 1.3. And our opponents, their resources have suddenly just plummeted. I think it's because they're starting to lose the center of the map. Um, these valuable resource points. I mean, this this gold needs... It, it, it's good that this keep is defending that gold. I think this is an excellent keep from our opponents. We'd love to see my ally get out a uh, trebuchet right here and just start attacking it. But we're kind of... We're getting villager kills, and we're trading well. That's That's the main thing here. We're just really trading well. We keep fighting under our defenses. We keep getting wins on the backside. I mean, this whole time we're producing traders. And these traders are going to be returning to us with... Let's see if we can't find one. This one's about to come back. Let's see what we get. Pretty much full map with the bonus 449. So basically 450 gold every time one of these traders comes in. This is going to be excellent. I'm glad to see Cornux still enjoying his uh, 250 that he gets from my market in the corner. Really need to see our Roos allies start putting in some work here. He's being kind of inefficient. Still, I think, only sitting on one town center? No, there is this. No, no, that's the English. Wow. Yeah, I guess he just stuck to one. But really, my English ally got so many monasteries filled with relics. Look at that. Two relics or two cathedrals just com or monasteries completely filled with relics. I think we were only able to maybe grab one. Yeah, we might be bringing it back right now, but we did capture this sacred site. Would love to get on this next one. Bringing our rams in to attack the fort of the huntress. If we don't see some cavalry roll up or some infantry, 
We'll knock this down. I mean, these rams, they're doing 200 a hit. Oh, well, here comes a spearman. But yeah, these uh, Janissaries that I got from spending my Vizier points, they're here. They are ready to fight. Sorry about that. The dogs are very excitable. You can see these rams are doing the right work. And over here, we're getting some kills in these fields thanks to this small army that I sent around. These man at arms aren't going to be enough. We've got crossbowmen in the mix. The French opponent surrenders because look at all of this infantry that's attacking his base. He just feels like it's over. So the English ally, uh, Cornux, he's just going to move on to the next base. And there goes Flexman. Game's over. It felt like it all of a sudden ended. I was very excited to be pushing forward through here, but considering that all these keeps were falling, we were outclassing our opponents in terms of resources and technology. I think it was only a matter of time. It was a good game, and I will see you for the next one.